Because this is the one verse Allah in the Quran used to abrogate 124 verse in the Quran. Which, by the way, that is the only verses Muslim read to us here in America. Listen to the word of Allah, chapter 9, verse 5. Known by all Muslim scholars, the verse of the sword. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? The verse of the sword. So, when the forbidden months are past, so kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and take them as captives, and besiege them, and lay wait for them with every kind of ambush. So, if they repent, and perform the prayer, and give the legal alms, so leave their way free. Surely, Allah is forgiving merciful. Three choices. Number one, we're going to kill you. Number two, we're going to take you as concubines and slaves. Number three, you just convert to Islam and be a good Muslim. That is the three choices which your grandchildren will be facing in this country less than 50 years from now. Unless we wake up and we know the truth about this barbaric, wicked cult of Islam before you continue to take over our country. 47.4 Another loving, peaceful verse in the Quran. So, when you meet those who became infidels, so strike the necks until you have made a great slaughter among them. They got the Muslim Imam in front of the camera in a prime time after the beheading of Armstrong and Nick and all these people a few years ago. And tears came from their eyes. And they said, Islam has been hijacked. Excuse me, Islam hijacked its believers. And the Muslim believers are practicing what Allah commands them to do. Allah is commanding them to behead all of us. That is the word of Allah. Why? Because we are infidels. Oh no, brother Yusama, you're wrong. You got this one wrong. Why is that? Because Christians and Jews are the people of the book. I guarantee you, if there's a Muslim man right now here, he will stand up next to me and he will tell you that Islam teaches that Christians and Jews and Muslim worship the same God, and Christian and Jews are called the Bible, the book, and no such a thing. These are for the infidels, not for us Christians. We believe in Jesus, and we believe in Christianity, we believe in Moses, and we believe in Judaism, and Yusama is teaching you hate. Let me ask you a question. Anybody here tonight, by any chance, believe that Jesus Christ, Son of Virgin Mary, is God Almighty who came in flesh? Are you sure? Okay, put your hand down. Anybody here tonight by any chance believe uh, the God of Christianity is a triune, Father, Son, Holy Ghost? Are you sure? Amen. Listen to what Allah said in the Quran. In Quran chapter 5 verse 72, Allah said what? Infidels indeed are those who said, Surely Allah is the Christ, Son of Mary. That's you! You believe Jesus Christ, son of Virgin Mary, is God because Muslims believe Allah is God. And you are infidel indeed. Not maybe, 50-50, no, indeed, for sure. Other translations, they say, certainly. Or for certain. How about this next verse, 573? Infidels indeed are those who said, surely Allah is the third of three. That's you. You believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit? You put your hand up, don't you? So what did Allah teach Muslims to do to you? 47.4, when you meet those who became infidel, strike the necks until you have made a great slaughter among them. Love it in this verse we just opened in the Quran today. This gentleman, who's his doctor, is giving the Quran to lead him to Islam. And I open the Quran, chapter 5, verse 51, in the English translation, which was given by the Muslim doctor to the brother here tonight. And what did, in this two English translation you have, not mine, the other, they said exactly what is written here. Listen to what Allah said, 551, Quran, chapter 5, verse 51. Allah said what? O you who have believed, do not take the Jews and the Christians as friends. They are friends to one another. And whoever among you takes them as friends, so surely he is of them. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. And I love it when Muslims say, what? That's not the true translation. The word friends here is not really friends. It's the word allies. No, it's friends. And if it is ally, why in the world all your English translation put it for friends? Are they all stupid? 
And I tell you why Allah does not want to take them, take us for friends, because Allah is commands them in Quran chapter nine, verse twenty-nine, to kill us. Hey, you Christian, help me to kill them, Christian. Does this work? Of course not. So I'm not going to take you to help me to kill the Christian. I'm going to, I'm not going to be friends with you because I'm going to kill all of you. Says who? Says Allah in the Quran, nine twenty-nine. Listen carefully. Engage in war with those who do not believe in Allah and in the last day. And do not forbid what Allah and His Messenger forbid. And do not believe in the religion of the truth among those who have been given the book until they pay the tribute out of hand and they are subdued. And I love it when Muslim will say you, well, there is verses in the Quran teach to fight, but that's only for self-defense. Imagine with me, you are with your wife, with your kids, in your own home, mind your own self, mind your own business, and somebody come to attack you. Will, you. will you not protect your family? Will you not protect your city? Will you not protect your country? So Muhammad was commanded by Allah in the Quran to fight only those who fight him. How many of you heard this before? Listen to the verse of the Quran. Guys, first of all, there is not one verse in the Quran support this baloney interpretation. This is the verse. Engage in war with those who engage in war with you, Muhammad. No, 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 no. Those who do not believe in Allah. I don't believe in Allah. Allah is Satan. I'm going to prove it to you in a minute. I do not forbid what Muhammad and Allah forbid. I like to eat pork. Bacon and sausage is my best breakfast. 